Hey folks, welcome to a sort of newer thing that we're doing here today. Um, I'm doing a unboxing video to say the least. And this is awesome because we're doing Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, the Stiggy Moloch, who is not featured in season one of Camp Cretaceous, but he is actually supposedly going to be featured in season two. But we're doing this unboxing video because I figured, hey, you know what? I want to try something new. I myself am a big Jurassic collector. Ooh, hit the camera. I've done a maybe one or two unboxing things before on the channel, maybe. I don't know for sure on this one, but if you guys like it, let me know and we'll do more Jurassic unboxings. And I have a few other unboxings I'm looking at doing too, the McFarlane Kickstarter. When I get that in the mail, we're doing an unboxing because it fits in the comics and, you know, sci-fi and all that other shit that we do on the channel. But, 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 this is by Mattel Toys. You know, Sticky Moloch, the dinosaur featured in Fallen Kingdom we saw... I want to say the replacement for the Pachycephalosaurus, but I love the Pachy from the Lost World, as you can tell here. He's got the hard head and such like that as well. Epic paint job on here. Now, of course, Camp Cretaceous, only on Netflix, season two coming in 2021. So well as a lot of other crazy things as well, too. But diving into the, the packaging, and before we get them out, because I have some schizoids here, dangerous little things. Look at the background back there. We see the camp, Camp Cretaceous. Like before, when this kid was toy line was coming out, we saw this package and we figured it was the camp, but it's obviously been destroyed. Spoilers: you're gonna figure it's gonna be destroyed when the Dra Indominus Rex breaks out and such like that. We have here Toro, Kenji, Brooklyn, Darius, Ben, the one girl, and the rest as well. Bumpy and Camp Cretaceous on there. He's got the action on here. Fits very well on the packaging, might I add. Fits very well, like Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. Go to the back side. See some artwork here that is kind of different than the Stiggy. It's a lot more artistic looking than the Stiggy. Oh, it's actually pretty similar. Then I think about it. Yeah, it looks like it. And in here it comes with this card thing. I'm not gonna open it for you guys, because me and I not really made for my age. You can tell here. Focus. It comes with stickers, like a little map book and such like that too. I personally am like, okay, I know what age that's kind of getting to on this one here. Right over, take a look here. We have some of our Staracosaurus, one of the, I think it one's Echo or something like that. From the Raptor Squad. Prehistoric Reptilian, I do not remember the name of him. And I work in paleontology, well I used to, work in paleontology as well. But this is a fine little box here. I like it, it's really standout-ish. Also kind of rare. I know online you can get them and such like that too, but... Can't really find them that much in the stores, to say the least here. But let's get this guy out of here. Let's use the scissors. Boop. And then, boop. And let's take him out. Put this box. It falls. And here we have the Stiggy Moloch by Mattel. An epic looking model, by the way. And at first, like... I think really repaint actually works for this guy because he had another one from the Fallen Kingdom line. I did not like the paint scheme on that one whatsoever. I did not pick him up. But this guy here, let's move the camera for you guys. Look at this guy. <laughs> Ignore the Halo, D and D, Godzilla stuff in the back. Look at this guy. A wonderful thing he's got. Articulation here in the arms. I can turn side to side, move up and down. This one as well, I believe. Yeah, if you can turn like that as well. Paint scheme on there. He's got the eyes, different dots. A really better looking paint scheme. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that on there. Focus. Focus. Focus that. Come on, camera. There we go. Yeah, he's got some, like, battle damage down on there, too. So he's obviously been using this hard head for something. Uh, the spikes on here, well. I love this dinosaur in general, Stiggy Moloch. I'm glad he's been highlighted in Jurassic as of late. That is kind of annoying from the factory thing, I will not lie, so you can really see him without it on here. Oh, there's a code on there to use on the apps, you can collect your dinosaurs. And of course, the Mattel signature for any Jurassic toy is this logo on the bottom of the feet. I don't know if I've ever gone on record, I'm used to having the, on like a hip or the stomach or something like that too, on, on a dinosaur. Or even human, it would be a JP logo on there. For Jurassic Park, and it did one through three, and it did it for the toys afterwards and such like that. But 
with these guys on here and this logo, I'm just, I don't know. I, I, I dig how it gets a Jurassic logo, but on the feet, though, kind of the feet. If it's not Jurassic, it's extinct, the old Kenner thing. Uh, this guy here, we see on here, too, there's a line going through the center, which isn't really that noticeable. On this model, it's kind of noticeable. We turn it to the side, it looks absolutely fucking perfect. Overall, really, really good figure by Mattel for this Stiggy Moloch here. Focus. Focus. There we go. Absolute little stunner he is, to say the least, dude, ladies and gents. Absolute little stunner. So if you guys really enjoyed this thing, this video here, this thing, I still like this motion that he does. Boop, 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 boop. I really like him. He's not that tall. I mean, he's probably five inches long, if that, four to five, about two inches high. He's not that high, maybe two and a half. No, he might be three, he might be three. I don't know, I, do, I don't do math. I'm, I'm working on animal medical facility, I should do math. Besides the point though, this is the Binet unboxing. A quick little unboxing for you guys with the Sticky Moloch figure. I would say if you can find yours at a local Target. Oh, his head does move, look at that. Mm. Very, very epic looking guy here. Old Stiggy, as they used to call him. So, if you guys want to pick one up, I picked mine up at a Target. They are kind of sparse. I know you can get them on Amazon, Target, maybe Walmart. You also can get it online too. I'm an in-person collector, which tough these days because screw COVID. But overall, Mattel, you really outdid yourself in this video. I really enjoyed it. He's really cool. I would definitely pick it up when I was a kid, and I picked it up now as a Master Jurassic collector. So let's see. Let's get zoomed in on that head there. Well, hello, Clarice. Hello there. Let's see, this is actually, I like this a lot. Uh, let's see if we can get a good photo for you guys. Cool. I really dig that. Um, very awesome figure. Go pick it up. He was $9.99, so $10. Not that expensive. I mean, like $10.18 after tax, depending on where you're at. U.S., mind you, U.S. Very, very cool. Hopefully, we get to see this guy looking like this, too. Maybe we get to see Packies. It'd be cool to see the Packy and them face off in Camp Cretaceous Season 2. Who knows? Besides the point, though, everyone, thank you for tuning into this episode. If you want to see more unboxing, video game playthroughs, interviews, and podcasts I do, subscribe to Dakota Morgan YouTube. And, of course, if you want to follow me on social media, I'm at Dakota Morgan 3 on Twitter and at Dakota underscore Morgan 97 on Instagram. I do photography every now and then. I try to get out. It's tough. <laughs> it's really tough these days. Do photography with these guys. So... Take a look on for that. Without further ado, everyone, stay creative, my fellow creatives.